Well, hello everybody. Welcome to our pay-per-view resentment. This is the second one, by the way. <laughs> Show 90. Here comes the same one. Gary's got the opening credits now. I'm Ivor Toby, by the way. Super Nerd TV! Well, hello there. Welcome to Ivor Toby's Wrestling Domination. This is Chronic Pain Show Resentment Pay-per-view. Is Pro Wrestling X currently in early access on Steam where you can buy it as you can see from the link on the screen? Me, Ivatopia, and my wife, who's going to be helping out with this, have nothing to do with the game other than buying it and playing it and enjoying it. And I'd also like to add the opening music you can hear right now is from the title screen of the Pro Wrestling X game itself. Hope you enjoy this show. Okay, so we know the opening match is Gary and Slow One taking on Dane. Canadian Royalty, then we have Pitbull taking on Sir Day. Hopefully that's going to be a pure wrestling match. Then we have Teodor taking on Griffin, the legendary Go Teodor. Griffin! He wants to clip uh, Griffin's wings. Then the Stream Championships is in a cage match. The show shop himself, Striker, taking on Grimhold. Then the main event tonight for the world titles. s Place taking on Happy Man, taking on Crusher, taking on Bone Count. What's your thoughts on that as Dane makes it to the ring? Mm, that, one's, that end match is going to be really good with everybody in it. Definitely, I can't wait, it's going to be amazing, the four-way, first pinfall wins it, I believe. Look at Dane, the Canadian Royalty is in the ring, people. Fight. And we're off, well, this is hardcore match is with the Dane stick. Is he going to pick up his Dane stick? Oh, the Dane stick, oh, Gary's got it, Gary's got it. And he Dane him! <laughs> and he drops it, what's he doing, what's he doing? Oh! Clothesline. That was more of a full-on fist, wasn't it? His, his hand connected with him. Okay, he taunted and Dane's got taken more of an RKO out of nowhere. You know, Dane saw it coming. Because he was planning it and performed it and executed it. You good? Beautiful, roaring elbow. Right, Gary's a bit back and forth so far. He's whipping him. And, oh, beautiful spear to the gut. Oh, that had to hurt. Definitely, because his arms were in the air, no defense whatsoever. Oh, see that great move by Gary. He got whipped in the corner and he managed to stop himself. Mm-hmm. Can he stop this one? No, we don't look he can, and another RKO! <laughs> Who do you think is going to win this match? <sighs> oh, low blow. I like to say Gary because, no offense to Dane, he can take people to the limits, but he's not very good at picking the wins up at the moment. I, I think he's too preoccupied with, people can steal my spotlight, how dare you, I'm distracted, and then too much. But with Gary, as he makes him bleed, uh, <laughs> with Gary, unfortunately, Gary can be completely on it on the night and destroy you, but the next night, he might be a little... Once they, uh, well, distract himself and lose, so it, Dane's got a good chance here, but I think I'm going to go with Gary. I think I'm going to go with Gary, too, just because Dane's good, but Ooh, love, he's love. still a newbie. Yeah, Gary. and he's letting too many distractions, that spear took him, took him over. Too many distractions cost him, and he complains about it too much. Gary's like, you beat me? I, well, I want to beat you up again. <laughs> oh, beautiful backdrop by uh, Gary, who's taunting? The crowd's getting behind him, they love it. Mm. Oh, okay, he got his arms up to the block, that, but it wasn't enough. That Pele kick drove its way through, and he's got the... Oh, what are you doing? Oh, we're going to back him into a pre-recorded message Gary, but first, we're going to watch Gary fly through the air! We've not very good grace, but it was effective nonetheless. I thought Dane was going to Dane him. He should have attempted it, maybe. Let's go to Gary now. And here's Gary. Tonight is the night I will be carrying out the pains to empty the world. I will go bang, bang, bang. Let hit his music. Let him come out here. Let him take the ding, beat it on lifetime. Ding, 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 Wow! He's gonna let the dude, what was it? Dane's theme song. Ding, 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 ding. I like this. It's catchy. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, he's open, open! Oh, he still got him. I thought he was gonna get out of it. Smash him in the face, was it? Ding, 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 See, he's got hidden meaning! You get it! <laughs> Gary, Gary! I can be your backing singer! We can go global! Gary! <laughs> it will be insane! You probably won't listen to me. <laughs> As he low blows Dane. Oh, beautiful spear! I think that was more... Well, I was going to say a beautiful spear, but it's more of a... His elbow into the gut. Dane is in trouble. Dane doesn't pull something out of the, the bag. Oh, Gary tripped! <laughs> Actually, I think his head kind of hit him in the groin. <laughs> He picks up the Dane stick and, and Dane's him again. I think that's his favorite weapon now. Well, especially when he's in the people uh, nicknamed the Dane stick, 
and could have Dane on it, and Dane, he's smacking Dane with it, so I think it is fit well. I think Dane might be too close to the ropes, or is he? It's hardcore, so he grabs the ropes, ain't gonna stop yeah. the match. But he could use the leverage to maybe pull himself out or something, maybe. But the ref's ain't gonna stop it. Remember, there's no rope breaks in hardcore. Oh, okay. I forgot about that. So hopefully, like I said, he could maybe grab the ropes and pull him, use the leverage to get out of the move, but the rope. No, 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 no. Well, sorry, my words are going jumbled up. Uh, but of course, the referee won't stop the match. So if he taps that holding rope, he still loses. Oh, oh that's what? a good spear. That was definitely. He hit that square in the middle. He was like laser sight with that one. Oh, and he danes him again. Danes yet to use his own dane stick. You know, like he did say before, it's a hockey stick. <laughs> That just happens to have Dane's name on yeah, it. Yeah, like his pants are. <laughs> Dane! He's trying to get him in the sharpshooter. Ah! See the way he was like just yanking on that then? He was really stitching that move in. And, the blood, and then obviously squeezing the blood out of his head. Where you, you, you squeeze, see. Oh, striker, the showstopper! Oh, so the showstopper, he appeared. Was it? Uh, this is Saturday, this is going up. He appeared on Thursday at Aces with you and, uh, and me. <laughs> Announcing that was a surprise, and he's advancing the tournament. His wife was there too. Yeah, turn him on in the side of the ring. Gwen, 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 Gwen Striker. <laughs> Sorry, Striker. Gwen Striker. Uh, we don't. He hasn't given a word why he was there. He's a stream champion, as I know he's not supposed to have been there. I wonder if Sir Dave's gonna say anything about him being there today. I don't know. Oh, it could be over to Oh, Dane kicked out, and I'm assuming he's out here interfering with Smarts for the simple reason to rebel against Sir Dave. So he's really trying to rub in into his face at the moment. Boom! The back of the head. Oh, beautiful! Not for Dane, though. Dane, he gets getting ke Dane, 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 Kendall. Oh, and ow. speaking of Dane, here's Dane in the back with the pre-recording right now. Canadian royalty will win out the night. I would take that insane one head first, even though I got my legs stuck in the arena the other day, even though he almost broke my back. And he's got a Dane, you know, Dane stick is a hockey stick. Get the name right, and that. As you keep calling it, you're gonna dame me? No, I'm gonna use that hockey stick and I'm gonna smash across your head, Gary. And I am gonna win because I am a Canadian royalty. Remember that. I don't think that's working out too much for him. Not particularly, especially getting double team with Striker. And another sharpshooter attempt. He's barely hanging in here. I think Dane's gonna have the word Dane right across his forehead from that Dane stick. Yeah, well, he's got it across his uh, uh, wrestling pants already. <laughs> Maybe someone's Dane him repeatedly there. <laughs> I doubt his mom probably sewed that in for him. Uh, Kendall stick. Striker's got it right where he wants it. Boom! Across the face! And this is going to give Dane plenty to complain about. I had you, Gary, right where I wanted you before Striker showed up, even though he kind of didn't. But I bet you that's what we're going to be at least talking about. I was surprised Gary's even allowing Striker to do this. Well, last time someone helped Gary, and, and he's like, I just beat my guy faster. Nice. It's just when, uh, was it when Griffin accidentally smacked Gary, he kind of lost it with him. And, uh, you know, when he, when he came out to help Griffin, didn't he? Mm. So as long as Striker doesn't hit Gary, he, I think he's fine with it. He didn't care how he wins, as long as he wins. And he has fun doing it. And they broke the kendo stick. Oh, beautiful! He, see that? He turned out to like a moonsault splash. Oh, wait, Striker! What, striker broke it up! Gary won't like that. Why did he do that? Oh, yeah, like I said, don't interfere with Gary's fun. Gary wanted to end the match, okay? Striker's done what he shouldn't have done. And then he's got to defend his title later tonight. After he just got back from, like we did, from Japan to, uh, with Aces. He is. He went through a hard match with the guy who's actually reminded us of Gary a bit, Pyro Ding. Maybe I still think that that'd be a really good match between those two. Maybe one day we'll see that. Oh, beautiful RKO! And Dane's got caught from the RKO. <laughs> he hit the RKO and he got caught from Gary. He's putting the sharpshooter again. Oh, he's kicking Dane in the gut! <laughs> Look at this. He just keeps kicking him. Oh, ow! And again, again. How's he not tapping out? That's just showing some of. Uh, some strength and the vertical uh, fortitude from uh, Dane there. Mm. Oh, speaking of striker, uh, he's leaving right now. Mm. Finally, he's leaving. Oh, to go the towards the back. Yeah, he's heading to the back right now. Oh, Gary's gonna set up for. Oh, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Oh, apparently, did he watch striker? They're gonna talk to him. Let's listen to what he's got to say now. What? We don't know why he's been out there, why I attacked Dane, and why I had a little scuffle with Gary. Quite simple. I'm rebelling against Sir Dave. Can't you get that through your thick head? That is what's happening. So Sir Dave changes his mind, and basically becomes a Sir Dave we used to know and they used to love, then people, matches are going to be enhanced by my presence. And unfortunately, Gary got on my face a little bit, because I didn't want it to end at that point, and he wanted to end the match. So I was no, break it up. And that's what the scuffle was about. Nothing more, nothing less. And tonight, you will see me again later, as the stream champion, as a defender against Grimhold, remember that, because I am the showstopper. 
And Sir Dave, Sir Dave, I hope you win your match, and I hope you keep it pure wrestling. Or else, or else there might be a little bit more rebellion. Maybe so, maybe no. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> oh, we're back. Wow, so that's why Striker did it. That's why he ended the fall now. He basically wanted to end the match, and... Well, sorry, he didn't want the match to end yet. So he basically broke it up, and Gary took exception. So that's mm. why they had a little scuffles. Looks like there was nothing personal. Oh, Dane! Ow! And Zane's thrown no! up and bounces almost into the crowd. Oh, just missed him. Good job, he's security rail. Not good for Dane, because the extra metal on his skin did not help him at all. I, I think he, he almost missed He missed the security rail, did he? No, he hit this rail, but it wasn't there, he would hit the crowd. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. That it was good it was there for the crowd's sake, not for his sake, because he physically hit, the, hit it. Some miracle is back on his feet. Oh, he blocked that, though. And he didn't block the second run elbow attempt. I think the blood's in his eyes. He's, he, his body was crunched up again. Oh, shut up, people! Can Gary, or Gary, can Dane tap out here? Yeah, it's hard course, anywhere it goes. Okay. He's hanging in there. No, he didn't! He's tapping! Dane is tapping! The, the odds, as we go to back three plays, was too much with Strikers involvement, I think. Mm. And that move, beautiful. Beautiful move early in the match with that uh, Pele kick. This is where the double team. Look, he broke, I didn't even really broke the Dane's across the body. And there's a broken kendo there, so that was broken across him too. I didn't, oh, there's two. Yeah, he had like two broken kendos, a broken Dane stick. Yeah, oh, as he said, it was a hockey stick, as he said. Yeah. And this is where the little scuffle took place. That is his name on it, though. Yeah, and that, that, ah, that was vicious. And somehow he hit so hard, he bounced, and the scuffle around and saved the crowd. But probably was a downfall for Dane. He did get back to his feet, but it was two rolling elbows. He couldn't stop the second one. What did the shot shoot, and he tapped. He just couldn't handle it anymore. That was a good match. Of course, the next match is none other than Pitbull taking on Sir Day. Pure wrestling at its finest about to go down, people. Okay. Here comes who's it going to be Pitbull. Wait, what's Bryce? Why is Bryce Best coming out here? He's not scheduled for tonight. What's this about? Oh. We earthing that. Is he going to sit there and try to interfere with Sir Dave's match? I don't know. That's what I was earthing about. They're not even out here yet. The match's not started. I don't know why he's coming out here. Because, of course, uh, his match. Well, he didn't have one. He did beat the beat. Yeah, beat. That's the word I want. He beat. <laughs> he did beat uh, the, the current IW champion non-title the other day, didn't he? And he's been whining about that ever since. You don't think he's going to mess with the ring, do you? I don't know. Uh, I think uh, I think he's called... Yep, I believe he is calling for a mic. So, gave him a mic. Let's see what he's going to say. For Pitbull. So, they schedule match. Yep, look, okay. Here goes Bryce. So listen to him now. You're not pleased to see me out here? Well, you can go and stuff it because I'm out here and I'm proud. Unlike TJ Eclipse, who basically hides there in the back and basically allows everything to be handed to him at Silver Platter. I'm so sick of it. Well, I have to fight for every opportunity and I'm going to make opportunities right here, right now because I'm not even at this pay-per-view. I pinned the current IDW champion and I'm not at the pay-per-view. The best is not here. So I'm making myself here. I'm getting myself airtime. I'm doing open chance. Anyone in the back, if you've got the guts, get your butt out here now. Open That's challenge. rich coming from Bryce, somebody who's been handed contract after contract. Oh, is answering. Because of his brother. Okay, he's gonna talk. Right, listen. So be it. It's Grasshopper's funeral. Get in this ring now. So what's going on? We got a pre-done match. Is it scheduled now? Is it a surprise match? Is it a brawl? What is this? I guess if Sir Dave wanted to stop it, he would have. Fight. He's in the back preparing for his match. Which is supposed to be on now. Yeah, but we've got Bryce taking on Grasshopper. So Bryce was complaining. Oh, beautiful move by Bryce. He was complaining about TG's in the back when he's not actually in the back. Basically getting everything on silver platter all the time and no one's giving him air time. He's pinned the IWA champ, like I said, he probably was going to say. And then basically he wants to make opportunity to get his own air time because he wasn't even on the pay-per-view. But basically he feels disrespected. He didn't use that word, but that's basically what's coming from. And he challenged someone, and the current con contract winner has accepted it. I don't know if that's smart by Grasshopper, because on one side, Grasshopper is really tough, and he wants to prove something. What, what I, you know, I applaud. That's great. But the thing you had a con, you weren't scheduled tonight. You have a contract cash in. You could watch the main event. Whoever wins is going to be that weekend from it. You could then come out completely fresh, cash in, become the world champ. You could be throwing that away now because you're going to be just as tired as the main event people. When I wonder when to. he's going to cash that in though. When he wants, I'll say. I'm assuming he won't do it tonight. Uh, unless he wins his match pretty easy. How long does he have? Is there like a limit? It's, it's about a year on it. Basically to the next uh, time we do the contact cash in. He basically have that night, the final night, as the next one's won to cash it in by then. So when we do that pay-per-view again, basically he Ooh, has to have he it cashed in by that right night. the security railings. Yeah, he has to cash in that very night or any time before that. Otherwise, basically it will be won by someone else. Oh, as he dodged it out of the way. Beautiful. Beautiful move by Grasshopper. 
Oh, a little uh, for, uh, dancing around with these two now. Oh, he's got a kendo stick. Oh, and you better watch it. Oh, you got him in the forehead. Wow. What's he doing now? Oh, he tried to whip him and he jumped out from stage. Mm. And he oh, beautiful drop kick. Great view by Grasshopper. He, he used his momentum to jump off the stage. As oh, great view by Bryce. And Bryce came down, went for a Pele kick, got drop kicked in the face. He went for a second drop kick. Bryce used his speed to get away and he dropped on his back. These two are very back and forth. They spent this speed, so back and forth between these two. Mm. Oh, we're going to listen to a Pitbull in the back soon. Oh, he, he, he can't wait his foot and he jumped out the ring. I wonder if he's going to say oh, he something about not being able to have his match Well, yet. yeah. Like, what's going on here? Like, go to Pitbull now. My boots were unlaced. I'm in my wrestling gear and I was about to head out there to my music. And then Bryce went out there and now Grasshopper. Now we've probably got an impromptu match going on. I guess Sir Dave's allowing this because it gives him a little bit more time before he has to get in the ring with me. And I embarrass him for the world. And I know that and the crew knows that and remember that. Well... We're back and Pitbull. Oh, bad drop! Ow! He dropped his. He almost landed head first on the on the stage. Um, he still landed on some metal pointy things. Yeah, two, two. Okay, the ref is counting for him. What a kick out! He's him flying down the stage. Mm. Wow, he's had some authority behind it. Oh, Bryce is running. So, what you thought of what uh, Pitbull said that, that Sir Dave's allowing this because he's basically trying to buy more time before he's embarrassed in front of everybody? I don't think Sir Dave's scared. Yeah, probably not, but. He said the crew knows it though. <laughs> oh, he's climbing high. What's Bryce doing? I think he's probably just doing it to shut Bryce up. There he comes, Grasshopper. Uh oh, Bryce is really going high. Okay, Grasshopper looks like he's the most hurt here, but Bryce is giving. He's basically running now, and uh, Grasshopper well, Bryce has never had really much luck with going high like this. He did the time when he came back, and actually, uh, him and TJ remember when they took Ivan and um, uh, Happy Man down that night. Remember? Both power bombed them all either side, then they both hit a moonsault from it. Mm. Remember TJ's words that they went crazy as he moonsaulted? I think it was a happy man, wasn't at the time. So he's had some thingy with it. Oh, he kicked him in the ankle then. In the face. What's he doing? He's whipping him. Oh, this is dangerous, people. Hits him in the face. Oh, and again. Okay, Bryce is really in trouble. He's on the edge now. Grabs him uh. reversed. Suplex. Brainbuster, even, people. Brainbuster. Probably done suplex him over. I just wonder, have we ever even seen the true suplex in IWD? I think they always turn to a brain buster. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we will one day. He's whipping him. Oh! He, he, he almost went to the edge and Bryce uh, smartly hung on. He's getting back up there though. Oh! He's fine for his life, they both are. Gross up! Ow! Oh no! Fudge! Ow, that had to hurt. Definitely! Is he gonna jump? Oh, his leg, I don't know. What's, what was he doing? Oh, he fell! He fell! No, he be smart enough to climb down. What is it? Oh no, he's jumping me so people! Oh! What? Ow, he hit it! Ow, he hit himself in the process! I said he'd be smart enough to climb down. Ow, people, they are both lying down hurt now. Who did that hurt more? I don't know. Oh, Bryce got to his feet though. Bryce got back to his feet. Yeah, and so did Striker. Er, Striker was out there, Grasshopper. Striker was out earlier. <laughs> he wasn't wrestling yet. Okay, they're going at it. He's Oh, he's going at, oh, what's he going for? Before we go back to Sir Dave. Oh, he back dropped him! Ow! He dropped him into the crowd, people! Okay, we've got to Sir Dave now. Enough is enough. Sir Dave in the house, I've got to respect that this match was not scheduled and it's getting too far ahead. He's in the crowd now and not having people hurt. For that reason, this match is called off right here, right now. I'll think about doing a rematch, a real match between you two later on, but for now, you two will vacate this arena. So Sir Dave can come out here and he can teach that insignificant little squirt pitbull what pure wrestling is all about. Respect that. Haha, <laughs> that's why I'm the best. You just got saved by a commissioner, Grasshopper. I had you out where I wanted you and you know that. Your time is coming and I'm proving why I'm the best. I'm taking out everyone in the back if I have to to get that title and I will and you're the first victim. <laughs> Seriously, so they just stopped this match. I got a little blood on me. I'm with the people. They got me with their shoulders. I was enjoying that. That was amazing, Bryce. I did not know you had that into you. I have to congratulate you on that as well, done. I can't wait till we have an official match because that was amazing. I'm going to take you out before I cash in my contract and become the IWO champion. Beating you first is going to be brilliant. I can't wait. Okay, let's go to the match replay. So this is how what we just saw just happened. That was incredible. Basically, the match has been stopped. You know, that that could have killed Grasshopper there. Ended his career. 
And that wasn't bad enough. He managed to roll off the edge. And Bryce did this amazing move that he hit. People, he hit. And so Dave, what just thought of him stopping the match? And Grasshopper actually in the crowd and was bleeding with the people on his shoulders. Join it. And he's like, I can't <laughs> wait to have an official match. What's your thought? I don't know. That was insane. Definitely. Uh, well, you got the actual proper match now? Pitbull and Sir Dave, I believe we got the proper match now. <laughs> Let's get this on. Hi, Karumba. Finally, Pitbull's making his entrance. At least he didn't have to wait too much longer. No. Th I, that that Grasshopper and Bryce, and they were right. That excited me. Like, Bryce was like, I had you beat. I don't think he did. Or oh, Grasshopper it wouldn't have been so long. Yeah, Grom. <laughs> that Wow. Speaking of which, we've gone to the back to listen to Strike the Showstopper. See what he's got to say. Maybe about this match in particular. Like, go to him now. Ladies and I, I will defend this trap against Grimho, but before that, you know what, Sir Dave? You're stopping matches here. The power's going to your head. It ain't on no more. You want to do what you want, I can do what I want, because I am the Showstopper. Remember that. Oh, Striker. I know he's trying to do it for the right reasons, get into Sir Dave's head to hopefully bring the old Sir Dave back, but he's making more and more trouble for himself. And what do you mean he's going to do? He said basically, I can do what I want if you can do what you want. Well, he's not, he's not a commissioner. He's a stream champion. So that gives him some sway, but the commissioner has more sway. Well, yeah, he's the commissioner. Remember, the view in the back basically gave him the power to, for the in ring stuff to the commissioner, who teed up first one, then so Dave beat him for it, and now he has the power. Because they wanted more hands off, didn't they? Because at the time, Ivan was, they felt, was bullying him and manipulating them. <laughs> so, in a way, uh, so Dave's got the title, oh, sorry, the commissionership and where he is now because of Ivan's early actions in the bit in mm. IWD. And he, did, and he was trying to get Wotan, it didn't even work. Because of Gary. Oh, beautiful uh, takedown then. He caught him mid-air for that drop kick and took him down big time. By uh, none other than Sir Dave, our commissioner. So, who do you think's going to win this? Who do you want to win this? I want Sir Dave to win it. But, I don't know if he'll win it. I'm mixed with it, because... I, I, I like Pitbull to win, but at the same time, Sir Dave... I respect Sir Dave, and I want him to win too. But I don't like it the way he's been of late. If maybe getting a pure wrestling loss to, to Pitbull will get him back on the old Sir Dave, maybe it'd be worth it. And Pitbull did lose a world title opportunity because of it. He kicks out a world title opportunity to him. Going to the battle to Legendary Theodore. I was just about to say that. Well, I said it first. Ugh. Cheer for me, cheer for me. Do not boo. Why do you always boo the Legendary Theodore? I'm going out there later tonight to lay the smack it down on none other than that stupid griffin whose wings will be clipped. You know, I was one of the trainers. Me and Gary were one of the trainers that the contest that you won. And this is how ungrateful you are. You got in the way in my match with Grasshopper. So now I'll destroy you tonight. And you put this on yourself. You're going to take a legendary beating, Griffin. You're not going to clip anybody's wings. I've just got to add, he said he interfered in his match, got in the way. Technically, it was a triple threat. So he was meant to be in the way in the match. But obviously, in Tito's eyes, it's just been him, one on one with Grasshopper. Griffin shouldn't even been involved. That's where he's getting at, even though he was officially put in the match. And unfortunately, I don't know, we're going to see something special, but also horrible. We're going to see a legendary beating tonight from Griffin. It's going to be amazing to watch a legendary beating, but at the same time, it's not really nice to happen to Griffin. So it's Cash 22. It's going to be a bit of sweet scenario, this match, apparently. What's your thoughts on it? I think Griffin can do it. Oh, he's had a little man. bit of a losing oh, streak. St speaking of which, here comes Striker. Not because of the losing streak, but Striker. <laughs> He's had a bit of a losing streak lately, but I'm confident he can get over that. That's ever since the happy man gave him the beat of a lifetime when he tried to stand up for you and actually kept you from going, hmm, you know, and releasing the puppies to everybody. Or being fired. You're not supposed to mention that. Mm. Ever! <laughs> and then he delayed it long enough for Ivan to get there and basically. Oh, what are, do what's it. going on here? Strikers interfere. Oh, I don't think Pitbull wants it. Pitbull just pulled him off Striker because he did say he wanted to beat him with pure wrestling match and prove to Sir Dave that he can. <clears throat> Strikers take exception to that. I think people are kind of getting a sick of Strikers' interference, even though he's got the right intentions. These two have fallen out. These two have had a legendary war with each other in the past. And obviously Striker has never, ever beat Pitbull to this day. Oh, he's, got, he's trying to pin him. And he's just coming up in the back. Griffin, who you like? <laughs> Yay, Griffin! Go to him now. Now. I don't care what you say to you, you may be one of the trainers, but I'm going to surpass you because I'm the hardest grafter in this business. And you ain't going to clip these wings. The Griffin will always rise because he has the support of the fans, he has the support of the sexy supernova Tiffy, he has the support. And if you're going to give me a legendary beating, I'm going to reverse it and I'm going to beat the legendary guy. Does that make me legendary? Because if it does, 
I'll be the legendary Griffin who will fly on out here with a victory tonight over your tiny little stupid butt, Teodor. Oh, would it make him legendary if he beats uh, the legendary Teodor? Oh, Pin! Oh, Striker, what are you doing? I guess he saved Pitbull, but Pitbull kind of wanted to help. And then he gives, doesn't even beat down and leaves. They wow. said that Teodor... Or, <laughs> Teodor. Well, so Dave's going after him, so Dave's going after him. That Pitbull didn't want the help. And so Dave... Oh, no. Oh, look at that move! Oh, what happened? Oh, no! Holy... Pitbull! Pitbull! What's happening? He hit the security railing! Oh, the blood! Pitbull, look, okay, keep the camera off him! The blood! The blood! Oh! Is it going to be okay? I don't know! Medic, get the medics out of here now! Come on, medics! We need medics! Ow! That was horrible! That was, definitely. So Dave, the, the drinks too count, the match is too technically going on. Nah, it's going to be double count out here. Oh, nine. Ten to, to, to Dave, so Dave's in the ring. He's got the mic, he won the match. Wow. That's not a way to win. This is not going down this way because of your stupidness, striker. I just want my match like I said I would. But guess what? I won by count out because Pitbull's lying there unconscious because he hit that security rate because your interference is on you. There's going to be hell to pay tonight. Don't respect that. Wow, we're going to match replays. I, I don't wonder believe. what he has plans for striker. I don't know. Like, this was a great match. So you like, we had a, a great arm bar, oh, well, sorry, arm, arm drag, then we had this amazing aerial pit bull. Then we had Striker and Fear trying to get at Sir Dave. Pitbull's like, no, I don't want you to fear. And Stucky just whipped him away. But but basically, he ended up breaking the pin up. And Sir Dave gave chase. And him and Pitbull all had a little fight. And during this, Pitbull's opportunity. He stopped Sir Dave leaving. Look, boom, boom. And he's cut around and blood everywhere. He's currently unconscious. The medics, are, as we speak, are taken to the back and cleaning him up. I think he needs to go to the hospital. We hope he's going to be okay. We're trying to see if he can wait, wait, you know, wake up, as I think they're calling the ambulance. And uh, so Dave's... I don't think he's even aware what happened at this point. He's walking up here, chasing a striker. The rest are counting. And then he, he realises seven, he starts making a mad dash for it. He's just focused on the match, he gets in, and he realises what happened, and that's when he addresses him. So they, I, I won, like I said, but it shouldn't have won this way. Mm. Wow. Uh, I don't know what to say. I hope he's okay. Definitely. The next match is called the Legend of Teodor. And Griffin! Hopefully he becomes Legend of Teodor. Oh, oh. Here comes Griffin. Oh, wow. You're still kind of... I think everyone's yeah. still kind of shaken up about what just happened. Yeah, with Pitbull. He was such velocity. That was ridiculous. Speaking of Pitbull... Oh, he's, he's getting conscious. He's, he's going to talk in the back, apparently. Let go to him now. Hopefully he's okay. Ah, uh, my head killing me. I just came to and I was in the back, blood coming down my head. I was like, what, what, what happened? Where am I? And I've been informed, so they won the match because I got knocked out by hitting the security railing. I don't believe that. You, you, you managed to win, Sir Dave, but it's not over between me and you. And as for you, Striker, I did not want you in the I wanted to keep this pure wrestling. So Sir Dave had no excuse to try and bend the rules and cheat. And yet, you got in my face. So I got in your face, and now this is on you. Wow, at least Pitbull's okay. At least he's okay. What's your thoughts on what we just saw? And you know, he's still got the blood dripping down his face. Like you said, the ambulance needs to take him. I'm glad he's doing better too, because that was really scary. Yeah, and he woke like, up and was like, I, I didn't know where it was. He told me that he won. He's not happy that he lost the match that way, and he blames Striker for it. Well, yeah, nobody would be happy that they won the match. I don't think Striker way. did it on purpose. That wasn't his intention, but that was technically his fault. Because that wouldn't have happened if Sadeh wasn't chasing after him. And uh, he went after him, so. Yeah. So that was was technically Striker's fault, even though I wasn't intentional. I don't think he went out there to do that. He was actually out there to help Pitbulls. Oh, we're going to Tiger now. Let's go to him. So Dave, the king of the jungle's here, and I, I was wondering why I'm not on the pay per view. After all, me and Overlord joined ER to get opportunities, and we're not. Where's opportunities? What? What do you mean, where's your opportunities? You will probably eat off a reason. Just go and make your own opportunities right now. I could not deal with this. I to deal with this strike situation. And Pitbull out there thinking, oh, he's, he should have won when he shouldn't. Just go, get, go, get out of my head. You don't uh, think the ERs are going to come out during this match after he said that, do you? I don't know. He just told him, go and get, make your own opportunity. He's trying to deal with a strike situation. And he's annoyed that Pitbull said that he would have won. I don't want them so interfering with the Griffin flustered. and Theodore's match, though. No, but he said so Dave, so Dave sounded really flustered then. Griffin's doing pretty well here. Exactly. 
We haven't really called this match particularly because of what we just happened and went through and lost to Pitbull and the situation's more taken and crowded than Griffin's match. Oh, that's awesome move by Griffin. Snake eyes. Oh, one thing we have to say, Pitbull, uh, sorry, one. Griffin is going through a lot of pin attempts. Two. If he can stay on uh, Teodor, I, I think he's got him on the, uh, you know. On the ropes, sort of speak. Yeah, that's what I was looking for, thank you. He's got him on the ropes and he might be able to get a win here. He's doing really well, he's looking really good out there. That's Teodor. Why I don't want ER to interfere. Well, today didn't tell him to interfere. He just told him basically, like, go make your opportunity. Yeah, you kind of, you kind of miss him like a child in a way. He's like, where's my opportunity? I haven't had it. Well, I got to deal with you now. Right now, I've got to deal with these two. Just do do something. Oh, and do you see that Griffin reversed it? Beautiful backdrop and a pin attempt again. One, two. two. Oh, so close. We're going to back to listen to. I think it's Grimhold, if I'm not mistaken. <sighs> you keep taking my line. I think it is. I have a mistake. I'm sorry. Hopefully, it's him. Tick. Talk, tick, talk. The time runs out for your title reign, Striker. Has become very grim for you tonight. Wow, what's your thoughts on that? As Griffin's working on the, the shoulder of a uh, Tito, tick tock for Striker's title. Do you think that's correct? Especially after I mean, he just annoys the day as well. Gonna eventually lose it. Yeah, but he needs for tonight because it's his it's time match tonight. And remember, he did throw Striker off the stage earlier in the week. Oh, that reversal by the legendary Tidor. I don't reversal. know. I think Stryker went about everything the wrong way, especially tonight. He's got good intentions. He's just. He's going about it the wrong way at yeah. this point. Like, before we understood, but now when people don't want him to interfere, he shouldn't be interfering. Yeah, because he had a photo out with Gary, he had a photo out with Pitbull. That he has disrespected Sir Dave by joining Aces without him knowing it. Oh, yeah. It was an amazing match, though, with Power Dave. It was, but... And he could be their world champion. If he wins a tournament, he might even meet Ivan in there. A rematch from Carnage 2. That would be epic with them, too. Mm. And who's this coming up in the back? It's the showstopper himself, Striker. Let's see what he's got to say about the situation. He's mm. going apologise a lot. Firstly, Grimbo, you ain't in this ring tonight because I'm the showstopper, like I said earlier. And TikTok, well, you ain't going to be ticking or talking when I break that clock of yours. As for you, Pitbull, blaming me, that's an unfortunate series of events. After all, I came out there to help you, to stick it to Sir Dave, to get the old Sir Dave pack. You didn't want my help, and you got in my face. That's why that happened. You do not get in Shield Swapper's face. You do not refuse his help the way you did. That's why you got hurt, because you're a clumsy idiot. And, yeah, I will say, I will say I'm sorry that you got hurt, but it was your own fault. And as for you, Sir Dave, bring it, boy. Bring it. You know, bring your tanks, bring your tigers, bring your overlords, bring your cages. Bring everything you got, because this belt is staying around my waist. Okay. Sounds like a challenge to me. Definitely. Before we get to that, uh, what Strike Strike just said, during that uh, little bit, um, segment, Teodor is bleeding, and we almost got another three count by Griffin, who's going for another One, attempt. Two. two. So oh. close, he's wearing him out, but we have to give Teodor credit for staying in this long. So what's your thoughts, what Strike had to say, then? Uh, it wasn't a series of unfortunate events. It was a series of unfortunate events that struck Oh, Tiger! Lost. Tiger! Oh, God. Who's going to help? So basically, Stryker... I don't want him in this match. Like, they're both doing so good. Definitely. So basically, in Striker's eyes, he, he apologized no! and he, he shouldn't have happened. He's won it. No! Oh, he broke it up! Okay, I guess he's going to attack both of them. Why? Because I know you should be friends with Tia, but we said make opportunities. I guess this is his way. Uh, make opportunities. Oh! They're working together against Tiger! Oh, beautiful! What I'm trying to say is these two work against Tiger. This ain't going well for Tiger. Nope. That striker basically did apologize, but said it was basically your own clumsy fault because you got, I came out to help you and you refused me, and that's why you got hurt. So, don't blame me for that. Basically, in other words, you stepped in my help. You would have won the match and be victory now. And he would have stuck to Sir Dave, maybe got brought the old Sir Dave back, so... He doesn't see it as him... He's really hurting him, you know? He said he's sorry that he did get hurt. With that whole situation, the two wrongs don't make a right. No. And I think he's gone above and beyond to make it not right anymore. Oh, Spear? These two have turned on Tiger. <laughs> this has not turned out well for Tiger. So Dave will be back if he's still watching this, we'll be a bit embarrassed at this point. Mm. Tiger came out to make a statement. Remember, he used to be part of uh, the Executioners with Tiger. And he came out, and he just could have cost Tiger the match, but then they both turned on him instead of fighting. Griffin just took Tiger down, what's he doing? Oh, we're going to battle the same one Gary not long from now. Oh, he's just got to up for this, what's he going for? You keep stealing my line. Moonsault! Oh, he hits it, beautiful! You need to stop that. 
Okay, if he got a pink tiger, then he would have won. But do you, and here's Gary. Whoa, what do we have here? Little Theodore taking advantage of the little tiger's interception with his blood blank claws. It's what that they're gonna have. Come <laughs> on, guys, watch. <laughs> That was weird, he's on his watch. Tiger's kind of leaving. Is Gary going to come out? I don't know. But did you see in that match, uh, T the, G Tiger started leaving, and then Tito's taking advantage now. What, what, what's smart on his part, because their match is still technically going on. And he's actually going to beat Griffin at this point. That was good ring awareness by Griffin. We got to kick out, yeah, definitely. No, there's a rope break. Yeah, I mean, he basically got the rope, then he used his strength to push him off anyway. It looks like Tito's uh, tired of that kick out. But every, every time he pins uh, Tito, what well, he's pinned him repeatedly, each kick out is draining more energy out by him. So Satido has not got much stuff into him now, has he? He's really tired. I think oh, they're both oh, getting oh, tired. Oh, here comes that. Gary. He said it's not going to happen with you taking advantage. Wow. Let's hope this time Griffin doesn't accidentally hit Gary and all hell breaks loose like last time. Mm. Okay, he's blocked him. Oh, he's got Griffin right where he wants him. No, he blocks it. Nothing he needs Gary's help. Uh -oh. He's looking at Gary. He's like, what are you doing? He's allowing it. I guess he goes with my mentals here. I thought he was going to push Gary away then, but that's smart by him not doing that. I mean, Gary turn on you would not be good at the stage. Well, no, because he didn't mean to do it last time. It was just, he kind of... I know, but, but the thing with Gary, he's like uh, this spring. If you hit him the wrong way, he retaliates. Beautiful. Oh, you hit, no, you hit Gary. Why? I think he was going for a moonsault and Gary's too close. Gary's looking at him. Oh, Gary is, Gary is annoyed. Okay, the same one has lost it. We're going to the battle of Sir Dave now, I believe, as the same Stop one has lost it. Stop stealing lines! We're going now. Tiger, get your butt here now. Why did you interfere in that match? You do not go out randomly attacking people as I send you after them. For some ER. I did not send you to go into that match to interfere with Griffin or Teodor. Neither of them have deserved or earned disrespect not by me. Explain yourself. Your very word was to go out there and make a statement, go out there, make an opportunity for yourself, or did I misunderstand what you were saying to me earlier? You're paraphrasing a lot there, and what I meant was to get out of my hair, and what I meant was to go out there and challenge somebody, not attack them like a coward. But we'll forget that I do have a job for you, so come here and listen, and respect that. Wow, so we're back in the match as uh, Griffin's now bleeding and getting pinned. He's mm. just missing the rope too. Mm. Oh, and he lost. His big mistake was that music where he caught Gary in the face and Gary just lost it on him. He didn't mean to though. I know, but it cost him his match. Wow, Tito got the victory. He was doing so well in the beginning. Definitely. Like, he was on him. Look at Powerbomb, pin. You know, Spotty Slam, pin, pin, pin. And he was wearing Snake Tito down. Eyes. Then Tiger interfered. And Sir Dave basically said, you should have been out there. You should have done that. I meant you should go out and challenge someone. But, but I've got a job for you. Yeah, I was going to say You've got that. a job for you, so come here. So what's that about? I'm assuming it's a Roman striker or Pitbull. But Striker's got a match coming up, so I'm assuming it's a Roman striker. Here's what I have to say. Match replay, two count. And this is where Tiger yeah, came out. This is where the match went to pop. They both... Turned on Tiger, it was beautiful, but then unfortunately, Tito smartly tried to take advantage of Griffin. But then unfortunately, t t Gary took it and saw that, you don't do win that way, you don't take advantage of him. So he comes out, he helps Griffin. And Griffin here comes Griffin, he's trying yeah. to do a moonsault. And Gary's too close, but Gary didn't see it coming, he gets to his feet, stands up and gets a foot in the face. So you can kind of understand why he turned on Griffin at this point. Because look, he gets up to go pin and turns Griffin round. just didn't realise that he was that close. Yeah, because uh, Griffin turned round and the guy was like, what are you doing? And he's like, what? And then he walloped him. And then Tito managed to do snake eyes, pin, as Gary's leaving. And Tito pulls the victory. Legendary victory off. Wow, what a match. What a match that was. What's your thoughts on that? I'm kind of disappointed that Griffin didn't win. Definitely. Oh, what's going on? I think he's trying to next match. What's, the, what's Tiger doing? Why has he gone on top of the stage? He's, he's, he's in the next match, isn't he? Yeah. This must be what his job was, so Dave said he got a job. Oh, Tiger went off, though! Oh, that is not good for Tiger tonight. That is nope. not good. So next match is Striker vs Grimhold. Cage match. Wow. Mm. Okay, here's Striker. I guess he's down from up there, and he climbed down. Okay, that's not good for Tiger. He hit the finish match he wasn't supposed to. Kind of got the both guys double team him. We've had a lot of interference tonight where people haven't wanted the interference. And then basically, we, we go back. Uh, 
We, we go back to upstairs, so to speak, on top of the stage. Tiger's got Striker trying to throw him off to do, obviously, today's plan. He gets arm dragged off instead. And now Striker's coming out for his cage match. What's your thoughts on what just happened and what we witnessed? And what they attempted to do? I wish Striker and Serde would just kiss and wake up. I like this camera angle they're using. Mm. I guess they're trying to change up in the, the, the van a little bit. Oh, oh, Overlord! What's this about? Oh, I guess he's trying to take him out now. Hey, Cody, that's not even started yet. Oh, he's power bombing him. Oh! The thing, though, is that... He and he's torn it afterwards if I were to go off. Wow. Overlord has slipped out the ring. He's going through the crowd. He's leaving. That did not go well. And it goes Grimhold. The thing that even if he did powerbomb him like that, he's still wasting energy. Yeah. And, and he did the arm drag a huge man in Tiger, so basically use his strength to toss him off the stage. He's already been out once and technically fought with Pitbull. He was out was in the opening match and, and fought in that. Mm. So he's kind of getting... He's technically already been wrestling tonight, even though he hasn't officially... Yeah. And he's in the cage with Grimhold. The cage will be getting lowered as we speak. Now that's a huge 15-foot steel cage. That's impressive. There it is. They're lowering it now, you can see. Wow. At least the cage is going to keep anyone else interfering now out. This is true. Unless you're happy, man. He interfered in one cage match once, so... <laughs> But as far as I know, he's got no, uh, what's what's the saying? Ducks in the role for this. No, that's what I'm saying. What's the saying? The dog in the horse. No, the horse and the dog. What are you talking No, a horse in the race. That's the saying. He's got no horse in the race of this match. I he... think you need to get your ducks in a <laughs> he's row. He's got no horse in the race of this match, so to speak. That's meaning, a beautiful RKO. Meaning he's focused on the world title tonight. He has a rematch called the stream title in the bag when he wants. But if he goes after these, he's going to mess up with his world title match. So and he... this is for Striker's title tonight, right? Yeah, this is stream title. So Happy Man's got no reason to fear in this. And ER's kind of failed the stream striker so far, but Grimo might just do their work for him right now. As the monsters in the ring, and he... Oh, okay, he'll strike it, boom. Again. <clears throat> He's throwing around like a rag doll here. And he's leaving, he thinks it's over. So I can not allow that. I think he realizes. He's just ignored him. <laughs> oh, he should ignore a striker. He's got the speed. Oh, it landed on his head! Oh, did you see that? He went for a moon a line sort of midair and he hit him. And we go to the backlist of Sir Day. Let's see what we've got to say about ER, I guess, in this match. Who does striker think he is? You basically threw Tag for stage when you should have been the one for plummeting. You then embarrassed Overlord, and now you're in there taking it to Grimhold. You will not walk out with that belt tonight. You already embarrassed IWD. You are under contract by IWD, and yet you went to Aces and you entered that tournament. Ivan Reeve is not under contract with us. Plus, IWD gave him permission to do it if he would resign with us. He is completely legal. You are not. Remember that you are not respecting me or this business. I would wow. also like to point out that I also got permission from Sir Dave. Well, we both did, because remember Ivan Reaver basically did the contract. Match, you're not. Oh, yeah. But yeah, we well, are not on the contract to wrestle for IWD, though, so. No, but I still got so you didn't Sir need Dave's permission for that. For it. Yeah, and, and that was part of the deal. Ivan Reaver basically, uh, to, for the English section to, to bring him over to the Avid Hopi channel, basically uh, got me and you to do the English speaking, and you surprised him by asking them to wrestle and got to the women's tournament. Because I'm awesome. But you're like not that scheduled way. wrestle. You're not actually scheduled to wrestle for IWD. Oh, look, 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 look. Grimhold, Grimhold. 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 Okay, show us Grimhold. Oh, so close! Striker almost uh, almost lost it then. He dived out and missed. Striker wasn't going to let it go that easy. That was so close though. He did a mistake. Unless that was supposed to be a roll at more speed, maybe. Move so... Oh! He moved! You see him? He moved just in time. Oh, Gary in the back. <laughs> Here comes Gary! The Reverend, the Reverend, the Reverend. You should know better. Don't put a hand on your former trainer, your mentor. You should you win, Gary, or else you will get punished. And that is all that happened. I'm sad that you left the match to that idiot Theodore, but don't do it again. I'm giving you one last chance. <laughs> At least Gary's given him another chance, because I know that Griffin did not mean to do that whatsoever. Yeah, but my thing is we're going to take exception to losing the match because of Gary, though. Hopefully he won't, and he would accept that that was a mistake. I'm sorry, mentor, and then move on with it, and be more careful in the ring with him. Oh, look at that Pele kick by the big man. Okay, what, what, what's he doing? He's trying to climb out again. Strike is not going to allow this, I don't think. No. 
Yeah, oh, he's getting ready. He's waiting. He's waiting. Oh, he's getting ready to spin. So he gets to the top to do the more damage. Oh, look at this. Oh, he was face first, but his body stopped him here face first. Thing. It's face planting. Striker's gonna come. I think Striker could win this. No, he'll get up before then. Hopefully. What well, he is going to be getting up? His legs over. Striker's okay. done it. He's still trying to stop him. Oh, he's taunting him! Look at that! The other side! He's taunting him! Look at that! He's walking on the side! He's trying to get out! He's taunting what him! What are you doing? Grimald is trying to smash the side! And he wins. He did it! He did it! <laughs> wow, the champ! Still the champ! What was Grimald doing at the end? He was annoyed! He was slamming the side repeatedly! This was the replay, obviously, before the match started! Tiger messed up and got thrown off. And then, of course, straight after that, we got an overlord in the ring and Striker dealt with him with a beautiful powerbomb to such a big man, it was impressive. Mm. And he basically slid out the ring and left. Then we had this and wow, it was a short but a good match. Like that, he was flying through the air and he did a learn sword. I think he tried to hit him in midair. I don't know if he actually called him, I thought he did at the time, he might have just not. This was the end bit, wasn't it? He almost smashed his face, he's not climbing out. I'm surprised that he... That he allowed him to do that. I think Grimhold got very annoyed and was trying to literally launch him off the cage. What would have cost lost in the match, but could have really hit Striker at this point. He got frustrated. If he had gotten up a second sooner. Yeah, he literally, he just hung on to the side before he fell off. So like I said, it's like a second cost in the match. And Striker being cocky, look, he's like, he's like dancing. <laughs> you can't get me. You can't touch this. Da -na -na -na. See, definitely. He's like, you can't touch this, you can't touch this. Now I'm the show stop, and then he, look, he, he bows to him. At least he did his defiant shot. Oh, what's this? Striker was leaving, Sir Dave! Sir Dave just moves over him from the stage and he was leaving. I guess uh, ER's not finished with uh, Striker. Nope. Or at least Sir Dave's not. Okay, he's, he's, he's blocked him. Uh oh, he, oh, Striker's fighting Sir Dave off now. Oh, he, he, he back dropped him. Off the stage! That was some power! I didn't think he would hit... Uh, He's back at the edge of the stage, he fell off there, I think he would. Sir Dave's going high. And you know Striker's going to follow him, because Striker bases him back down. Well, now he, it's look, Striker. He's telling him get up here now. Striker, oh, Sir Dave is saying some... Uh, it, oh! Ow! Ow! Oh! I think he went in the wires, he got electrocuted! Oh! He got electrocuted, he hit one of the wires! Oh! Ow. Holy fudge! Ah! That was vicious, and we've got to go to the main event. Okay. What of course is S Place Happy Man Crusher Van Campbell. Let's listen to him in the back first. It's been a long time coming. My rematch clause is finally activated tonight. I will regain my IWD World Championship belt. That belt that means so much to me, and you know why I'm going to regain it? Because I'm Van Campbell, and you can count on me. Wow, oh, what? Oh, Strike's getting back to his feet. I wonder what he's going to say. It's time for some happiness for Crusher as I blaze my way. Straight to the free count as I eat spines, as I pour out intestines, as I choke everybody in that very ring with their own stuff, including their pathetic hearts that I will chew on. Um, um, yes, I'm dribbling just a thought of it as I will be raising my arms in the air, holding that IWD World Championship belt above my head once again because everyone else tonight will be crushed say about what happened to him but oh, then i got Grim, cut off grimo grimo you spit on the stage nobody embarrasses grimo you little pip squeak and as for you crushing my best friend good luck i know you won't need it to go make me grim all tonight so let me get this straight thinks he can touch my spine. He thinks he can grab my heart. There's not a bigger heart in this business than mine. And as for you, going near my brain and other vital organs, I need them to outwit you, the lumbering oaf. Now let's talk about none other than Vaughn. Count the guy you can count on. The guy who you can count on to lose and be embarrassed in front of the world as he loses his rematch class tonight. And let's go for S 
Blaze, the blazing superstar who thinks and believes he's the true IWD World Champion. No, no, no. You are nothing but a pretender to my throne, and I will be privileged, that's right, privileged to take my crown back tonight. Sad, sad days, people. Oh, we're back. Oh, Grimmel Struck Striker's a talk. What are you doing? Striker's getting a beat down oh. of his life. Oh! I don't know if he's going to be able to wrestle in aces next time. All right, WD. This is a resemble how grim it will be for all Crush's opponents tonight. Like a striker, stream champion is nothing but a pile of grimness. So tonight, the true IWD World Champion that you will be privileged to see is taking on who? Who? Happy Man? Who's Happy Man? A delusional fool. That's who Happy Man is. And the only sad day is going to be will be for you. Then we have the basically the idiot. I don't know what else to call him. Maybe stupid. M maybe a little brain dead. Something along that line, because after all, he was going to give up opportunity at this title just to annoy Sir Dave until Pitbull stepped in. So you better be thanking Pitbull for the loss tonight and your loss of your title opportunity. And in Crusher, you're the only one in this match I actually respect. I came to this business to face Pitbull, who kind of disappointed me, to face Grimho, and to face you. And tonight, I'm finally going to have that match. You will be privileged to be in the ring with me, just as I'm privileged to be in the ring with you, and you don't hear that often from me. I am the Idol Wheel Champion. I am S. Blaze, and I will blaze my way to glory tonight. Remember that. This match. Wow, so what's your thoughts on what they all have said as having made his entrance? And, of course, what we witnessed with Striker with Grimho. Well, only one of them can win, so only one is correct. Mm-hmm. But what s is basically saying, you know, who's happy man, uh, you shouldn't be here, happy man, say s you're a pretender to my crown that you're going to hand back to me. And, of course, uh, s turned around and said, Crush, you don't want to respect in there. I came to this company to face Pitbull, who was disappointed me. I came to face Grimho, I came to face you. Much more than that, and basically called uh, Von Kaut stupid a loser because he was too busy going of his pride against Sir Day. Do Pitbull stepped in to allow him to be in this match, which means he's going to lose the title opportunity because he's going to lose tonight on the dress plays. Much more than that. I don't know. I just I don't know who's going to win. And is Striker going to be okay? Hopefully, he's our string champion. I guess uh, Sir Day was so frustrated with him, but then in the end, it was Grimmauld who took him out. Grimho got so frustrated losing it and just tried to be so cocky on the side. I think that's what pushed him off the edge. I think that's why, you know, you said why was Grimho doing what he's doing. I think it's because when Striker started climbing out and he didn't knock him off, he was on the way down, so I have won you, you know, and he's saying all this stuff to him and sort of being cocky. And Grimho just lost it. He knew if he started climbing, he would just jump off and he couldn't catch him. Did so he really started. Did count on Von Kaut? The world's yeah. never going to know. And then he started slamming him in the thing and he got so annoyed that so Dave stopped striker leaving and as he was getting up Grimo saw him and you know speared him off the stage power bombed off the, the top and he said good luck you know you need to his Frank Crusher for this match he knows he's gonna win he said and Von Kat this member this is rematch clause he, he has been in shambles about three four months now he's the first time he activated it well he only has one to activate but he's waited this long to activate it because of his war with Sir Dave mm. So you think is he is he done at the right time to put himself into a four well four way? Or should I he mean, wait? If he wins, then yeah. yeah or, if he loses, then no. Or should he waited and made it made sure it's one on one match? Like should he wait to after his pay per view yeah. and had a one on one match with whoever won? He comes crush he's gonna crush everybody. I think it depends on how everybody we in the ring reacts to him. If they act like he's just not there, then it's the greatest thing that he could have hmm. picked or hoped. Well Crusher said he's gonna basically destroy everyone in the ring, so <laughs> if they all attack him and knock him out, then no. There's one pin full submission now to win this match, so they would have to break the pins up. And it comes Crusher. And I thought that was quite funny with Happy Man. He says, basically, I'm going to go after your heart, your brains. And Happy Man, you don't touch my heart, the biggest one in the business. You don't touch my brain, so I'm going to use it to outwit you. Because <laughs> it's like the biggest one in that. <laughs> well, that's quite funny. Okay. Last but not least, the IWD World Champion, two-time IWD World Champion, uh, S. Blaze himself coming out now. And of course, uh, Crush is a former IWD World Champion himself. You've been Hap snacking too much. You had food on your face. I don't. And Happy Man. 
uh, is of course a, a one-time stream champ, the longest stream champ of all time, and one-time IWD champion. This is also his rematch clause. And Von Count is also a former IWD world champion himself. So we have this. two rematch clauses. Yeah, yeah, maybe he's still activated. It's, it's a cruiser. Uh, it's a cruiserweight one. Sorry, it's a stream one. <laughs> he lost his stream title. We don't uh, have cruiserweights. No, <clears throat> he lost his stream title, and he said he wanted to deal with Sir Dave. Remember, so again, so Dave keep people for different titles. You know, he did not do it on purpose because he said so Dave's going to screw him, and he's he keeping the uh, he's going to activate later. And then in the process, he got a world title match, became the world champion, and he's focused on that since. Mm. And but basically, if he fails this, I expect to be re reactivating his rematch contract to stream championship. Because he said, he'll strike you, you're lucky that I'm not going after uh, straight away with you, or else you wouldn't have had the belt as long as you had it. As soon as I won it, it's back mine. Oh, happy man to leave the ring straight away. Well, yeah, it's a classic happy man move. What did you expect him to do? Stay? <laughs> S-Blaze is going after him, and Valton Counts are chasing after them. Oh, look at each other. Oh, all three are going after happy man. <laughs> look, they're all going after happy man. Oh, from the behind. Uh-oh. Oh, Pele. Oh, drop kick. Pele, dropkick, then Happy Man survives. Yeah, now we're looking around like, uh, what do I do? <laughs> okay, he's back in the ring. <laughs> Volkhouse getting chased, looks like. Oh, Happy Man's got. Oh, no, he tried. He, he fumbled it. <laughs> Volkhouse out the ring. I assume he's going after a, a Kendall stick or a Dane stick or whatever. Kendall! Kendall versus Dane! Boom! Ah, oh, Volkhouse was too focused looking across the ring at S Blaze. I don't think he saw the sneaky Happy Man slide next to him. Hmm. He got Dane for his press players. For his, uh... Yeah. Vision. I was going to say for his presence, but that's the wrong word. <laughs> oh, he's bleeding already. We already he's got someone cut open. The first one cut open. And the back of his head at the Kendall's looking way down. Ow. Boom, and again. Oh, s has got a, a Dane stick too. And he's taking it to Crusher. One counts in the ring. Oh, Happy Man's getting chased. Oh, he's got a... Oh, Ooh, he missed. He didn't miss... Oh, I was going to say he didn't miss that one, but he blocked it. And he blocked again. And he got oh, okay, in mid -air. No. Threw him in the air. Okay, we didn't force him straight down. The stick was in mid air. Oh, he got. Uh, you need to stop pain. spitting so much when you talk. I don't spit. Leave it there. It's a, a slide of excitement. Ew! No one Boom. wants that. Well, Crusher talked about uh, drooling earlier when he gets in the match and ripping people's spines out. Ew, that's stuff you like. I'm no, I'm just saying he's a, he decided he's drooling. I'm decided I'm drooling. Same thing. He was over something else. Oh, they're both bleeding. Oh, behind you, nice place. Ow. <laughs> sneaky, uh, what I got called. Because a sneaky happy man with a dainty to the back of the head. Then he got uh, RKO'd out all the side of the boots by none other than the Crusher. Oh, he closed line Crusher now. And he, he's, he's trying to go for that dainty. Oh, he, he missed. He missed, grabbed it. Oh, he got Walt with a Kendall himself. This is a weapon match. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was close. He, uh, Happy Man almost got a double smack with the weapons then, and uh, basically... Ooh, and Happy Man did a low blow. Yeah, and Von Count caught Crush will actually save the double pain on Happy Man. Lucky for Happy Man, that was. So who do you think's gonna win? I don't know, because Happy Man's so sneaky. And we got a second person cut open. Third person, isn't it? Von Count's already caught. Is he? Yeah, Von Count's... Oh, oh. yeah, he's second, isn't it? Oh, yeah, and Crusher, yep. Remember, uh, Von Count was cut first. Crusher was cut open. I didn't see one. That person's not cut. Is Happy Man? Yeah, I didn't see when the second person was cut open. Oh, oh! They double teamed an RKO. Yeah, but he kind of threw him to the side. That was a modified version. One. Break it! Break it! Oh, we Happy Man was the world champion then. Mm. Crusher didn't break for some reason. Crusher probably knew that he was gonna um, break it up at two. Kick out! Why did yeah. you smack yourself? Because I got the oh, heart. Two, two. Von Count almost. Well, Crusher must come world champ. I guess that's another reason that if you could do that four way, two people on two people, yeah. are you really going to pay attention to two? Yeah, like these are focused on fighting each other. The three of them have got blood in their eyes. Von Count's blocking. And again, he's blocking again. Happy Man's the only oh. one that's left. Wait, remember, this happened to S Blaze with Von Count. Didn't, didn't Happy Man do this to S Blaze? I mean, just get smacking one. and smacking and smacking him. Two. two. Nope. And then eventually they, they, he broke through, didn't he? With S Blaze. Mm. And like, oh, 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 I thought he did it. He didn't. He got caught with a, a nice shot. At the black sandal, beautiful by Happy Man. We got an arm drag in the background to crush her. Happy Man's going high. You can do this often, but he got a moonsault. Beautiful. We got him right in the head. Okay, he's got the arms hooked to the back. A back breaker by Von Count to crush her, people. Oh, he's spitting up blood. There's another spitter. Spitting up blood. That could be like a, you know, a lung or something. He back dropped him. Oh, I thought Von Count was going to try to thin him off that. Oh, he's back dropping. <laughs> Von Count likes crush his backdrops. Oh, he, he's blocking the road. And here comes. 
somehow the other week you kept that belt. I threw everything at you, S Blaze. Everything. And these clothes weren't sharp enough to take that title from you. But the thing is, I've learned. I'm watching this match right now. I am going to get another title match. And when I get another title match, I will take the belt from you. So I'm praying you keep the belt tonight. So I want to take it from you. That is right. You'll be privileged to hand that belt over to the claw. And if anyone gets in my way, they will feel my claws. So obviously, we just heard from the claw, and he basically stated that he wants this place to win because he wants to take the belt from him. So the I'm claw came out of nowhere. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, sure, I'm assuming he'll be lobbying to Sir Dave that he wants a rematch with him after this match if he wins. So I think he believes he should be number tender. Do you think he deserves another shot? I don't know. As they push Cla the Von Count out of the way. Yeah. Oh, hat, hat pin. Von Count. You're not breaking it. Oh, he kicked out though. I don't know, but you think he deserves it? I don't know. That was a very interesting match for them. How they're bringing doubles of each other out and everything he tried, S Blaze had a counter for. It was a unique match. It was. It was very mind gamey. You can at least tell that they were yeah, I think teacher and apprentice. Yeah, I think personally, I would do one more rematch because of how entertaining it was. And then after that, Claw can't get the job done, then mm. he needs to earn it all the way up again. One, just for the entertainment two. value. Crusher kicked out. And Esplaze is too coughing balled up. This is not good for the world champion. Von Count's got Crusher. And then, oh, and doubt Crusher's going to tap out. <laughs> it's Crusher for crying out loud. Speaking of which, we got uh, Esplaze. Maybe he'll tap up. But then again, he's with the world champion. See, this would be a good time if Von Count could pin him. Because Happy Man can't see him. Yeah, he's not paying attention. Okay. We kicks the knees for Von Count. Going for the knee by Happy Man. We got a pin oh. attempt on Crusher. One. One. Two. Two. Three! Von Count's the world champion! So Von he Count. did to his advantage! Von Count's the world champion! Happy Man doesn't realise! What, what was this? So Dave, what's he want in the back? So Dave in the house, respect that, people. He's not ending like this. I want a true champion, a guy who deserves it, a guy who's a fighter. So Von Count, matching over, I'm restarting it now as official elimination match. Von Count, Happy Man, and of course, S Blaze. Go at it, boys, and respect that. We're getting a true champion tonight. What? Wow. Von Count won fair and square. Wow! I, I don't know if I agree with that decision because Von Count should be the world champion now. But he's, re he's restarting it as a triple threat elimination. Crusher's gone. At least he restarted with Crusher, I guess, but... But still, Von Count won! Wow! He How is he that not a champ. true champion? I don't know. Two? Oh, we almost have the, the current champion pin. That's save this place for now. Is this just a delay in the edible? Is, uh, the edible? We're not eating them. Well, Crusher's gone. <laughs> One. Two. two. Ah, oh, so close. But S Blaze is lucky that match is continuing. I just didn't like the way Sir Dave worded that, that we need a true champion like Von Count well, can't be. Well, I remember last time he wanted Von Count to win all the odds to prove he was a true champion and he, he kind of failed, didn't he? And then he said he's been testing him by putting him through odds and all these, you know, the ER against him, Gauntlet and Gauntlet, to test him if he wants him to be a true champion. Okay, S Blaze right. pinning, happy man, too. Two. Happy man, happy man's pin, happy man's out. It's down to S Blaze and Von Count. The only one that has not been cut open. Yep. Happy man ain't gonna like that. But like I said, he used a rematch clause for the stream title in his back pocket, so. One. Two. two. Oh, almost, fuck it. If he could have got the pin then, he would be the champion, and so they could say nothing about it. Mm. Crush is staring at him from the thing. And they're both taking a breath. Definitely, they need to at this stage. S Blaze is really bleeding Von Count with. Von Count's caught up at first. I suppose look at the crowds thinking like what do we do? Oh beautiful! Mm. Beautiful dragon suplex. It, now if you could roll him over and pin him, I think it's over. I think whoever gets up can pin and it's over. Yeah, I think he's out tired though. Back to his feet. Oh he's, he's putting the kick down. I guess he's giving I guess in a way he's giving Von Council respect here, because if he just pinned him, he's feeling he's gonna kick out, so he's trying to wear him out more. It makes sense. Mm. Going for a, oh, oh I was gonna say that I think it's a power driver, but he, he back dropped him. Mm. He was able to turn it around. Definitely. Now Von Count's in control. Oh, he blocked him, S-Blaze did. I guess just staring up as well as Crusher. I don't know why not leave it. Is that an arm drag? Uh, yep. I, I believe it was. I was looking at Happy Man, but I think it was. <laughs> it caught, caught, caught <laughs> in my eye. I looked up the ramp at Happy. Why are you looking at Happy? Because I said he is not leaving, even Crusher. They're just kind of staring. It's a little unnerving. <laughs> Sharp shooter, if Von no, Count no, tapped. No, no. If Von Count tapped, no, no, it's no, over. No, no. I don't Von Count will though. Da, na, na, okay, stop na, staring na, at me like na, that. Stop being creepy. Stop it. Who knows who's being creepy here? <laughs> Getting. What the fudge was that? <laughs> I don't know. Cre creepiness to. I don't know a Teletubby. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> you, you creepy horror film, then a teletubby jumped out at me apparently with a boot, I guess. <laughs> Tiki Winky! And Smacky Wacky! Tiki Winky, Smacky Wacky, and Poo Poo! That's the name, isn't it? No. Huh? Tinky Winky, Poo Poo. I have no idea. What are, what, what are the teletubby names? Tinky Winky, can I ever watch the Tinky Winky, Poo Poo? I doubt one is named Poo Poo. I feel like it would pee! Poo Poo! Oh my god, give me your phone. I don't know their names. I never watched it. I know there was uh, the purple one. Everyone said was supposed to be. Uh... Oh, I forgot they said. Was it poo poo? No, Tinky Winky, poo poo, uh, Papa, and Toe. Is that the Taylor Tubby names? Anyway, like about this matter, she looks up on, on my phone. I don't know why she used the wrong phone, but whatever. Tinky Winky, mm -hmm. Dipsy, Dipsy, Lala, oh, Tipsy, Dipsy, Tipsy, and. Po oh, that's who Poo Poo was then! Frolic! Frolic? I thought it was four, you said five names. Po Frolic. Tinky Winky has one, Dipsy's two, La La's two, Po Frolic. Okay. <laughs> okay, that sounds weird. I think I prefer Poo Poo with a name in them. Po Frolic? Yeah. Okay, back to this match. These two are going at it. Mm. Look at the board, it's like a murder scene. Ah, back break it off by explains to champions in control. I kind of want Von Count to win at this point, I'm not going to lie. Well, yeah, because I feel he's kind of been cheated out of it. But yeah. if he does win, it's going to be more epic. If he does overcome it. More epicness. More legendary. Epic. Legendary. Legendary epicness. Legendary epicness. Oh, we're going for a... Oh, no, I'm thinking... Another backdrop. He was hooking his arms, I think he was going for a backdrop. Sorry, uh, yeah, back break and he reverse into a back drop. A lot of backs involved in that. Oh, he didn't back reverse breaker. Out. There's your back breaker. Yeah, definitely. Kicking him to the back. Neither of these have gone for a pin attempt. I've been trying to work each other out. They didn't know that each other was going to kick out. So in one way, they show a lot of respect to each other. Boom. This is just a brawl with these two now. But at some point, someone's going to have the pin attempt. Yeah. After that jaw breaker or submission. Is that jaw breaker or not? Beautiful drop kick. By Von Kai, just one of the best in the business. I think it's only Sir Dave who's better drop kicks than him. Mm. One thing Sir Dave was good. I'm just waiting to see who gets up first. Yeah, it's all down to that, isn't it? Who gets up first? They are tired. Happy man of the crushes staring on still. Von oh, Count. almost equal. I think Von Kai just got it, but because of the distance. Oh, what a warring elbow, people! He took him out of his boots. Mm -hmm. He's rolling him. Rolling, rolling, rolling. And again, why, why is he rolling? Yeah, again, you need to stop spitting. I'm not spitting. He's spitting, he's spitting! Two! Three. Still the world champion, yes, Blaze! I feel Sir Dave can screw Von Kout out of the match with that. Wow. But S. Blaze, by the skin of his teeth, kept the title. I think Von Kout can, should have another rematch, so to speak, clause, because that wasn't right. I believe Sir Dave probably make him earn it every little drop of it, unfortunately. Okay, as we go to the replays, like this one, we just got all four. This is it. We sharp shoe, happy man's not paying attention. Look, he, he's got his back to him as he pins him. Look, slams his knee. He's got his back to it still. And that's where he got counted out. He one, rolled him two, over. Three. And that, that's where the match should have ended. That's where we should have had one count arm in the air. I'm you, IWD, two time world champion. But then we had Sir Dave come out and we started the match as a triple threat with elimination. And this is where he crushes at the top. These three are going at it. That, 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 that good move then. He, he, he ducked the drop kick. Mm. We got a beautiful spear takedown then, thanks to S Blaze, and I believe that's what pinned Von Count, sorry, uh, Happy Man yeah. with. Yeah. Right, again, if that was a triple threat, we're out of the mission, S Blaze would kick us out on them. And then it's finally these two, and these two went at it. Look at this, the brain buster. These two just Von Count destroyed. doesn't have anything to be ashamed of They're with this match, especially between these two. Because they both went at it that could with everything anyone's. that they had. That could have been anyone's at the end of these two. They were giving just as much as they got. And I was really cheering for Von Count because especially after he had made the pin knock yeah. from Sir Davis. That beautiful Roran Elbow. That's what, what ended it. He hit it, he rolled him over and, and then got the pin. I don't mm -hmm. know if you'll have to wear him out or to try to embarrass him at the end. Two. But three. So she and wrote, wow. The pinfall. So still RWE with champion S Blaze. What's your thoughts on that? Again, I kind of think it should be Von Count at this point just because of what happened. Oh. Who's coming out? I don't remember! Has he resigned? You tell me about this, has he resigned? You'll have to wait and find out. Why is he coming out? Oh, yo, he's throwing his jacket off, he's making a run to be like the ring. Let's play to try to get out the ring. Oh, he's, he's told him to get back in. He's going after the champion. Is he going to try to. 
Beautiful line so Obviously, this is not an official match. Oh, the claw! Oh, remember the claw said basically he wants the world champion if it's Earthblaze. And I guess he feels uh, Ivan's showing up, he's trying to take his thunder, and he's going to jump ahead of him for the title. Mm. So he's coming out, I guess, is he going to go after Ivan, or is he going to help him? No, nope, he's going for Ivan. I think Ivan went for him before he... We well, he did. saw him. Okay, oh, he's got Ivan. This ain't good. Oh, he backdropped him. s Blaze, he does see him. Oh, yes, he does, he sees s Blaze. He caught him in there. Wow. Considering how tight s Blaze was, that was impressive to catch him. Uh oh, it's two and one and Ivan now, though. Oh, see that kick. He's in mid-air and dropping his slammed into his face. And they're working together as a team. Sharpshooter, I believe this is Claw. I oh, kicked him in the back. I believe this is... Oh, no. He's looking at s Blaze. I don't think Claw is siding not... with any one person. No, he came out to, to basically stop Ivan. Basically jumping ahead of him for the title, I believe. So he's going to s Blaze to get a point over. And Ivan took him out of his feet. Off his feet, even. You see that? He's going to get up. Oh, and he blocks Ivan. He's set up. He's in the air, brain. Buster! Ow! That looked like it hurt. Definitely. He might have scrambled his brains a little bit. And he goes for a drop. And he takes him out. This place is leaving. He's leaving these two to it. That's smart by the champ. Oh, Ivan's going. What's Ivan doing? Oh, no, he's oh. getting a Dane stick. Okay, oh, people. Is he looking at the claw? No, no, he's taking it to Ivan. Oh, Ivan's in trouble, people. Ivan's what in is trouble. This man is gonna end. I don't know, but Ivan's in trouble. Okay. Oh, what a shot! I think he's cut Ivan open! Ivan's making a return and he's been cut open with a 2 on 1. Is this an actual match? No, this is a beatdown! Ivan was trying to basically make a statement got to the champion. Probably to put himself in title contention. Claw basically came out to say, no, uh, I'm more important, and kind of got in both of the faces. Oh, beautiful spear! What's he doing? Oh, he's, he's got a sharp shooter. that's why he just cleaned his face up, too! Okay, he's. He, he, Sharpshooter, what's he doing? What's he doing? Let's play this top in! Guess who's back? Reva time, baby! Oh wow. my gosh, Esplay's tapped! Can you believe yeah. that? This is the non-title people though, but that's what and a statement! And Ivan's the, back! The, the champion tapped out non-title, that's a statement, wow! Tune into Chronic Pain next week, and let's go on this good stuff, I have a topia, and, and I'm super innovative! Then let's go on this good stuff, and bye! Bye!